What is going on guys? Greg here today. I want to talk about FOV in Battlefield 2042. Now I made an in-depth uh, settings guide today. It's a really long video, but I went over every single thing to try to help uh, console players out there make the game feel a bit more smooth, not so clunky, because using a controller of the game right now does not feel as smooth as other FPS games. So I had an in-depth video that I'll pop up in the top corner so you can check that out. But today I really want to talk about in this video particularly just the FOV because I think a lot of people are confused why the FOV setting only goes to 105 instead of 120. The difference in Battlefield and most other FPS games is Battlefield uses a vertical FOV, not a horizontal FOV. Now there are several different converters out there that you can use because a vertical FOV is not a one-to-one -one ratio like a horizontal. So for some examples, if you use a 70 FOV in other games, so it's a 70 horizontal FOV, your vertical FOV in a Battlefield would only need to be set to 43. So for me, I like to use a 90 to 95 FOV in most games, whether it be Call of Duty, Apex, that kind of thing, maybe even up to 97. So if you use a 90 FOV in other games, you're looking at a 59 FOV in a Battlefield 2042. If you use a 95 to like the 97 range, like I prefer, you're going to use a 64 vertical FOV. If you want to go up to 100 FOV, so if you're using 100 FOV in Call of Duty and Apex, in Battlefield 2042, you want to go up to about a 68. If you're like a person that likes 105 FOV, you're going to need a 73 in Battlefield 2042. If you prefer a 110, that's a 78 in Battlefield 2042. If you like 115, that's a 83. And if you prefer 120 FOV, in other FPS games, that is a 89 field of view in Battlefield 2042. So just keep that in mind. That is why these settings only go up to 105. A lot of people are thinking, why does it go to only 105? Why does it not go to 120? I've seen that question a lot on forums lately uh, since the game has released in its early access phase. And a lot of you will be buying the game and getting the game when the standard edition releases next Friday. And this is something that is kind of confusing, and it is also something that will throw off your settings. It will make the game feel really clunky if you go up to like 100, 105, if you're thinking that is, you know, that bigger field of view. So like I said, there are converters online, but Battlefield 2042 does use a vertical FOV compared to most other games that use horizontal. So if you need to figure out yours particularly, go find one of those converters, put your horizontal FOV that you usually use in most games, and it will give you that vertical FOV. But like I said, I'm a fan of 95 to 97. So like I said, that is a 64 in Battlefield 2042. Like I said, if you like 100 plus, you're going to look at 68 to like 70 to 78, all the way up to 110. But that is something that is definitely throwing a lot of people's settings off, I think, in-game. it Like I said, it feels really bad if you go up to a higher number like you're used to. So if I went up to 95, if I'm used to 95 and I go up to 95, it does not feel right whatsoever. That 95 setting that I'm used to is only 64 in this game. So just keep in mind, this game is using vertical FOV and not horizontal. So hopefully this will help some of you guys out. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.